Hello, everybody. Uh, this video is about battery management, particularly the batteries that are in uh, Teslas. Um, it's the LFP batteries, but also the um, lithium ion band batteries. And I know what you're thinking. Um, BYD owner, what would he know about Teslas and Tesla batteries? Well, um, whilst I do drive an Atto 3, and I really like my Atto 3, uh, we are also a Tesla family. So um, one of my sons has got a uh, Tesla rear-wheel drive, and another son's got a tes Tesla um, Y uh, performance. And uh, one of my grandsons is currently learning to drive on a Tesla. So, um, yeah, we're, we're not just BYD, we're, we're BYT and, and Tesla. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> everybody knows about range, range anxiety. That is, am I going to run out of run out of electricity? Um, there's a bigger anxiety um, that's not talked about, and that is battery life or vehicle life anxiety. Um, I know some um, owners who deliberately um, drive less. Um, than they normally would because they want to prolong the battery. So in a petrol car, you jump in the car, go to the local shop, you, you know, you, you um, have no difficulty in saying, I'm going to go to the beach, I'm going to do this. But I have had feedback from um, electric car owners that they're not so anxious about just jumping in the car and using it. And, uh, you know, and that makes sense because they just, there's this black, there's this wall at the end somewhere at some stage you're going to get to the, Point and we're going to get a faulty battery. Um, so this video is about um, you know, dispelling that. So that hopefully, with logic, um, you know, people can be feeling much better about it, and they will, and then jump into the car and just use it like a normal car. So, <clears throat> apart from um, you know, getting some feedback from owners um, about. Uh, battery life anxiety, I, I came across an ad in, um, uh, I came across an ad in car sales. I was looking up um, for a friend of mine who wanted to buy a second-hand Model 3, um, 80 month old, um, so I think so. We went, you know, we're going through them and I came across this one ad, which surprised me. It was, um, for a, a rear-wheel drive that was 18 months old, so therefore it was a LFP battery, which you should charge to 100% every week, according to Tesla and every every other bit of information around the traps. <clears throat> and in the comment section, when they were talking about their car, they were, they were bragging, they were saying, we've really looked after this car. We've never charged more than 85%. And we've never had, and we've never um, reduced the battery Below 20, uh, 45% actually. So <clears throat> over 80 months. And that's incredible. I mean, it's the worst thing you can do to an LFP battery. Um, so if you look at um, BYD, um, if you look at BYD manual um, and also the Tesla manual, um, they tell you that you, you need to charge these batteries um, at least once a week to 100%. Um, percent. Um, and the reason for that is so the battery management system can know that the um, battery is, is full and therefore it can it can manage better. It's a little bit more than that, but basically it's around the battery management system. The BYD manual goes further and it says once every six months you should deplete the battery down below 10%. Um, and this person has never gone, never gone above 85 and never gone below... 45 was actually. Um, <clears throat> if this is what you've done, if you've been doing this, um, never fear, don't panic. You haven't permanently damaged anything. It's just the battery management system is going to be confused. To fix it, just charge it up to 100%. Um, use it, charge it to 100%. Use it, charge it to 100%. And after three or after maybe five cycles, Battery management system should be back um, back together again. 
Um, anyway, the main th the so I think we all know with uh, B batteries, you know, they're going to last forever. I mean, they're going to last a long time, much longer than the lithium ion batteries, which gets me to the point of talking about battery life um, anxiety. So um, there's two parts of this. Um, people with um, lithium ion um, are worried about charging past 85%. Um, some people with lithium ion never go past 85%, even if they mean that they've got to go out and you know, throughout the day, you know, charge it up again. Um, anyway, so there's data around saying that you don't actually um, do damage to your battery if you charge to 100%. What you um, do do, um, you will reduce the number of cycles that you can do. But not, not by a lot. Uh, I mean, you know, it's significant, but but certainly nothing to be um, you know worried about. If you if you mainly do eighty five percent and occasionally um, you know, do hundred percent, and I mean like every fourth or fifth uh, cycle you do hundred percent, you're not going to notice that much difference. Anyway, so um, there's a, there's a an organisation called um, at the university. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? But, and they've done a lot of um, research on um, lithium ion batteries and they've produced a graph. Uh, let's show you this graph. So, this graph <clears throat> basically shows a degradation of, of, um, of a lithium ion battery um, depending on how it's charged. And what it does is it tells you how many cycles it's going to be able to do. Down here, you've, uh, uh, down the side, um, you've got uh, the percentages. So um, you'll see 90%. So uh, if you look at if you look at the um, 125, which is black, which is actually the bottom one, it shows that it goes through the 90% of degradation at 1,000 cycles. Um, and it also shows that uh, it... If you charge it between 75 and 65 percent all the time, it does never seem to go down to 90 percent. That's the orange one at the top. So I'm going to look at this graph, and I'm going to, you know, say that um, battery degradation below um, below uh, to 90 percent is what we're looking at. So when a five a vehicle with 500 range gets down to 450. That means that the battery is, is degraded. Um, you can argue that you can go a lot further than that, but let's just work on that basis. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at this table here. So across the top, I've got the various um, uh, charging uh, maximum to minimum. And we start off with 125, 85 to 25, 75 to 25, 75 to 45, and 75 to 65. And then underneath that, we've got, you know, what percentage of that battery is, is are you using? So you're using 75%, 60%, 50%, 30%, and, and um, 10%. Now, um, if you – it shows here that if you um, charge between 100 and 25%, um, um, you'll, you'll get a 1,000 cycles. So you'll be able to do that a 1,000 times before you get down to 90%. If you did that every second day, so it, you know every second day you did a, a um, you know, it charged it to one hundred percent and then you know, used it down to um, twenty five percent, it would take you five and a half years to get down to a ninety percent degradation, which is a fair way, fair time. If you did what Tessa and and uh, most commentators recommend, which is eighty five to twenty five all the time. It'll be 11 years before you get down to it, and there'll be 2,000 cycles. Mind you, you are doing less kilometres when you do that, but, but let's have a look at this. Uh, and if you go, look, let's look at this last one before I show you the next graph, and that's from 75 to 65. So um, that's 10%. That's 8,000 cycles, which is 44 years. Um, that sounds good, doesn't it? It's not very practical. So... Work on a range of 500 um, k 
kilometres. The, uh, the range you get per charge from 100 to 25 is 375. From 85 to 25 is 300. So if you do follow the recommendation, you go from 85 to 25, you really only got 300 range, um, which may be an issue. Um, if you if you go from 75 to 65 for the 44 years, you've only got a range of 50. I mean, that's not real practical. Have a look at the final table. So <clears throat> if you always chose to 100% down to 25%, and you did it every second day, uh, you go five and a half uh, years, and you do 375,000 kilometres before you um, got down to 90%. So, I mean, that's hardly damaging the battery. It, 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 damaging the battery means that you get 375,000 kilometres or 225,000 miles. And that's not, <laughs> that's not that bad. But that's, that's 67,500 miles per year or 40,000, sorry, kilometres per year or 40,500 um, miles. If you follow what's recommended, uh, you, you get 300,000. Um, Miles, and that's the 800, sorry, 85 to 25. So you get three, a range of 300. You get 600,000 kilometres and you get 360,000 miles. Um, and there, so we did a little bit of 100 to 25 and a lot of 85 to 25. So worst case, you probably get 500,000 miles out of it. Um, but occasionally you may want to have that. Full 100% uh, range um, that you've got. If you go right across to the um, 75 to uh, 65, which we thought was pretty good because it's 44 years, but you, you'd only get marginally more than if you charge it to 100%. You'd only get um, 240. So just to, just to summarise, if you were to charge the vehicle to from 100% every second day and, and use it down to 25%, you're going to get 225,000 miles or 375,000 kilometres before you're below 90%, um, which is pretty good. I'm not suggesting you do that, but what I am suggesting is that if you have a mix of 100 to 25 and a mix of 85 to 25 um, and not get paranoid about never charging to 100%, you're pretty safe. Now you're going to get at least you know, 500,000 um, kilometres. So... I hope that helps you with your um, battery anxiety. Just get in the car and go for a drive whenever you want to. Just treat it like your normal car. Get in and go, get in and go. And um, you know, don't be too paranoid about the um, uh, the battery. Um, when you can discharge it, this is literally mine, when you can discharge it to 85%. If you want to, if you want to, if you've got a day where you, or a couple of days where you're going to be doing a lot of um, mileage or kilometres, you know, Put up to 100%. Um, it's not going to be a big deal. So I hope this helps um, those of you who've got battery anxiety. Um, so uh, enjoy your Teslas. <laughs>